Hello. One of the great things about AI is that it brings the world closer together. And one specific example of that is when it comes to languages, because with AI, languages can seamlessly be translated and it's way easier to sort of bridge this communication gap that has otherwise been present across the globe, both when it comes to like media, like movies, and also communication between people and, and so on. One AI service that has a very innovative approach when it comes to utilizing these new possibilities when it comes to languages is vMEC. So vMEC offers a suite of AI tools that all are related to language in some way. You can translate whole videos, you can dub videos with new translated uh, languages and new voices, you can do lip sync, you can generate subtitles, uh, you can do transcriptions and text to speech and, and basically anything that's somehow related to to language that has a lot of use cases both professionally but also personally like if you want to watch a movie with someone that doesn't understand uh, that particular language and there are no subtitles you can just generate the subtitles for that movie or show if you uh, if, if, if you want that professionally if you do uh, content creation you can translate your videos into different languages generate subtitles in different languages and and so on and and even uh, do the uh, transcription so you can use transcription from your videos in in an LLM like a, an AI tool to uh, help generate like chapters or descriptions and so on for that video. So there are a lot of possibilities. And what I like about vMake is that all these tools are just gathered in this one service. So you can instantly access all uh, language related uh, tools in, in, in one really nice interface. So let me show you how it, it works by going through a few of the use cases. The first step is to uh, sign up for vMake at vMake.ai and uh, you can try it out for free. Once you've signed up, you'll have access to uh, to this dashboard with all the different tools that vMake provide and you see it's based on credits, so you can always keep track of how many credits you have for different tasks and, and services within vMake. Uh, you also have uh, some storage uh, capacity. Uh, so in my case, I have half a, a terabyte uh, to store uh, projects on, on vMake. Um, and if you press the all tools, you can see essentially the different, uh, different areas of tools they provide. And let's try the video translator. And, uh, here we have the option of uploading media, uh, either from your device or from, uh, your, uh, online library at vMac. So I already have, um, a video sequence at, uh, in my library of the intro of this video. So I'm just gonna click on this. Uh, selected and um, I guess language we can auto detect uh, but just to be sure let me put English and uh, we want to translate this into uh, Danish and there's only one speaker and for this I'll actually try to clone um, my own voice just to see how that works uh, then dynamic duration is fine. Um, yeah, and that's it. And as you see, this uh, requires 60 credits um, to, to do this sequence of around one minute of translation from English into Danish. And once ready, we simply press submit and uh, confirm. So after it has processed the translation, we see the output here. So we have the original English version and the Danish translated uh, text version and a timeline down here where we can see the, the order of like basically the flow of the translation. So we can always like, if we want to, to delay something or we want to, to make it fit a bit better with the, with the visuals, we can always drag uh, the translated part on, on the timeline here. Okay, so uh, so let's just take a look at uh, at this, uh, like listen to the translation and the voice to see the success of the of the cloning um, of of this sequence. En tjeneste, der med kunstig intelligens har en meget innovativ tilgang til at udnytte de nye muligheder med kunstig intelligens inden for sprog. VMIG tilbyder en række værktøjer. 
that alle er relateret til sprog på en eller anden måde. Right. So obviously we didn't do the lip sync yet, so let me try to do that. Um, I think the voice, I, I can definitely hear uh, my voice. Of course, it's not perfect, um, but it's it's definitely uh, in the right direction. And uh, and the translation is really good. Like the, the Danish is correct. There is a bit with the pronunciation, but Danish is also quite a niche language and not uh, spoken that widely. So I assume it's more difficult to get proper training for Danish, but it's definitely like very usable uh, even at this point. And with everything in AI, it's only going to get uh, better from here quite rapidly, I think. So um, so it's definitely uh, something I see as usable already. Obviously, it will be noticeable for, for people that it has been AI translated, but I think a lot of use cases is also that it simply makes content more available. Let's try to lip sync this. You simply press lip sync and um, and then there are a few best practices in terms of the video format and so on for lip syncing and, uh, and you simply press continue and you confirm that it will consume uh, 30 credits in this case and it will begin uh, processing the the lip sync and the final output of the video. All right, so the lip sync version has now been exported. So let's uh, let's take a look. So we MEG tilbyder en række værktøjer, der alle er relateret til sprog på en eller anden måde. Du kan oversætte hele videoer og tilføje nye sprog og stemmer. That's a pretty good beginning, and then. I'm just excited to see how uh, where it's uh, going from here in terms of making everything more uh, more realistic as well. Um, okay, so let's move on. Let's try something simple like the subtitle translator. Um, I want to try that because often my mom calls me and says like, why don't you have Danish subtitles on your videos? Because then she can better understand the content. So. Uh, I'll just try to see how it works. I don't know, for some reason, YouTube doesn't always provide auto-translation of uh, uh, of Danish for the subtitle language. I'm, I don't know why. Sometimes I've seen it, but I don't think it's uh, it's always offered. So it's really cool if we can have VMAC do this and create Danish subtitles. So I'll press uh, subtitle translate. So let me drag this in. So... Um, so you can see it even supports multi languages if you have a video with multiple languages and you need different subtitles let's press add subtitles and then we can actually choose what style we want the subtitles to be in um we can just choose the classic style but let's um mm, let's try let's just try something else just for fun the yellow maybe we choose this one uh, and you see it's already done uploading and uh, what we do from here is just we press submit. So it's 40 credits per minute. And in this case, the video is uh, around three minutes. So it's 120 credits. Um, so, uh, so yeah, we press confirm. All right, so now it's done creating the Danish subtitles. And you see this, uh, this interface where you have uh, like a the reference uh, subtitles, in this case, English on the left side and the target language, Danish, on the right side. So you can scroll through all the, the translated subtitles and um, just what I can can see uh, by just looking at it, it looks pretty pretty legit, like pretty pretty correct for, for Danish. And um, and yeah, then we can try to play and see how it looks. One AI service that has a very innovative approach when it comes to utilizing these new possibilities with AI when um yep that's correct and um yeah so that's how it looks and uh, in here we can also change the font size size see uh so it see how it looks in, in different sizes um how to play comes to languages is vmake so vmake and uh, and of course it's easy to like to to fix any minor error so in this case uh it it's I guess it just hears I say V Mac, but it's of course V M E G. So um so we can easily go and change that. So 
in here, we just we just correct it, put a D. And that's it. Then you see it's uh, it's is corrected in the in the subtitle. Uh, so yeah, and and for each of these, you can also retranslate the sentence. If if something is is incorrect, you can have the AI do it again. So now it's translating, and then it might differ. So we apply this new result, and let's say we're we're happy with the end result. Now we can simply press download, um, where it exports and. Uh, the video and you can download it um and uh yeah you can you can also download the uh, uh like the srt file so you don't necessarily need to have the subtitles on the video itself but you can also just download the srt and then use that in a in a compatible uh video player and 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 have the video player render the the subtitles but let's just try to press export and download And then it will begin, and it also takes just a few minutes to to export. And then we can simply open the uh, exported video in any uh, video player like uh, QuickTime. And uh, and I'll just turn down the volume so I can speak well. But uh, but yeah, then uh, the uh, sub the subtitles will be directly etched into into the video in this case. And uh, as far as I can tell. The, the Danish is correct, so um, so I guess my my mom will be will be happy if I uh, if I start doing this on uh, on our videos. Another point is that for YouTube, for instance, they they also support import of SRT files. So you could quite easily create the SRT file for the subtitles on on VMAC and then import that into your video on YouTube, so that you uh, can provide uh, like actual subtitles in multiple languages that you have manually verified and, and so on uh, for your videos. I'll drag in just the same video just for the sake of, of comparison. Let's try to auto match with system voices. So it, I guess it will find like a voice that's a bit similar to, to mine. Let's try this dynamic duration. Yes. Let's go ahead with this and just press uh, submit. Yeah, we confirm. All right, so now it's done with the video translation and uh, we can listen to the result again. So let's try to just play a bit of it. Udnytte disse nye muligheder med kunstig intelligens. Når det gælder sprog, er det væk. Så vil tilbyder en række værktøjer, der alle på en eller anden måde er relateret til sprog. Of course, there are a few things you can always change this because it doesn't quite know how to say VMAC, and I don't even know how you would say it in Danish. You should probably just say each uh, individual letter. Um, but uh, but it's definitely like it's very usable and um, very um, informative. Like you you can ease quite easily as a like. Danish language speaker, you can easily understand this, and it's it's completely correct. So again, with this function, you can you can export and, and download it, and you can also download the the subtitle. So it also generates a subtitle file, and you can also add subtitles to the video directly again, like before, just uh, just putting in like the whatever uh, subtitle you want, and then it 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 adds it it here as well. In kunstig intelligens baserede tjenester, der er en meget innovativ tilgang. So, um, so yeah, that's it basically. I think there is a great future when it comes to AI sort of solving these language barriers that uh, we have been so used to. And uh, and this is just the beginning. I believe services like VMAC are going to become increasingly advanced and be able to do things in, in real time and, and, and whatnot. Like, I think... I think in the future it's just going to be the norm that we don't really care about languages, even if we call each other on uh, like have a, uh, have an, like a Google Meet or uh, call each other on the phone or something like. I I think we'll just see more and more that everything will just seamlessly be translated and and using a tool like VMAG is really great because it it gives you sort of an idea of this future we are headed towards where where languages are still there they're still great it's still nice that we have 
a lot of rich uh, languages uh, in the world that are all unique in some way, but that we can still uh, we can still have this bridge between all these languages and communicate seamlessly. I think that will do a lot of great things for the world and uh, yeah, again, bring bring people closer together. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video, learned something new, and got some inspiration for how you can use VMAC in in either your your work or your personal life. Um, but let me know in the comments down below what you think and if you. Uh, like the video please uh, subscribe to our channel and we will be back very soon with more content so um, see you soon and have a great day bye bye